Hey, what's up guys? Henry back here again, and we're doing a quick video today on how to solve the blank error that you find in Power BI. Um, but before we get started with that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, but yeah, I do want to make this a quick video, so let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. I'm going to go show you my data source that I have here. And I, so basically, I just have a bunch of dates. And uh, these dates have values associated with it. Um, so right now I've got, also got a filter here in Power BI. I've got a little filter here going. Um, and then we've also got a visual showing what is being displayed on the filter. So you can see that uh, March is 435. That makes sense. So yeah. Um, if we go to like a zero dollar amount here on 9 1 of 2021, so let's switch the year to 2021 and then go to September, we will be seeing a zero dollar amount here, which is great. But what happens if, say, we have data that's down here? Let's say we've got like revenue data over here and then we've got other months, but we just don't happen to have data here. Well, what'll happen is basically it'll just be blank like that. And if you've got a bunch of these visuals like side by side and they're all being filtered off of each other, it gets really, really ugly, really fast. So, um, and you know, obviously people don't like to see that. So what we want to do is we want to fix this blank error. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to make a really quick measure and then add zero to it so that the amount is at least zero so that we will never see a blank amount. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what you want to do is you want to go here and just create a new measure right here in your three dots. So we're going to press new measure. And then we're just going to put, we're just going to name the measure like miss expense. Um, you don't even have to put anything else. You just put miss expense as the measure name. And what we're going to do is we're just going to calculate the miscellaneous expense. And we're just going to do the sum of uh, miscellaneous expense here. So it's got a little drop down. So I'm just going to uh, select miscellaneous expense. And then we're going to do the sum of that. And then we're just going to close our bracket for our first, uh, sorry, first parentheses there. And then we're just going to add zero like that. And then once we add zero, that whole thing will calculate and oops, press that. So we've got our measure going here. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Okay, I'm just gonna recreate it because that's weird. So calculate some plus expense plus zero. There we go. Oh, you have to choose a different name, that's my bad. Okay, with zero. That's my bad. Okay, so we've got our new measure here and miscellaneous expense with zero. Okay, sweet. So why isn't this, you know, showing zero now? And that's because we still have our miscellaneous expense is checked. So let's uncheck it and collect our new measure. And now we have zero, miscellaneous expense with zero. And so if the value is zero, we'll still get uh, zero instead of blank. So you can see September's value is still zero and zero. Um, if you don't like this with zero name, you can always go in and change the uh, field name, rename for this visual right here, and just like that. And there we go, we got it working. If we go back to March, it's still 435, but it's zero for the other amounts for 2022 as well. So yep, that's basically how you fix that blank error really quick and easy. Um, it pretty much works for every case. I haven't run into any issues with it. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.